time, this whole idea of spec, now I have no problem with people going out for their spec. I marry my spec. So oh. I, don't them, I don't want to come here and rob people blind. You, you are allowed to go for your spec. We are the ones that were blessed to have it plus plus. You understand? But let me tell you, the whole idea of spec is a social construct. <laughs> Do you know that each time you say that somebody is your spec or this guy is not your spec, it is a product of your environment. That is a legacy that your environment left on you. It is not really an idea that is yours. It is an idea that was inculcated into you subconsciously by your environment. It has nothing to do with your decision. What do I mean? I as a person, <laughs> I am not sexually attracted to fair women. That has nothing to do with fair women. I don't have a problem with fair women. The reason why I'm not attracted to fair women is not because grace is not fair. God, <laughs> it is because my mother is not fair. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up in a family of seven with five girls and none of them was fair. All of them were chocolate and brown skinned. So my idea of a woman is that they are chocolate and brown skinned. So when I grew up and I wanted to marry, I married brown skin. <laughs> I understand it. Yeah. So there are people who when they see people in fair skin, they lose focus. <laughs> they don't have anything to do with that skin. That is the product of their environment. It is what they have been trained and they have known women to be. So that is why we have different preferences. You understand? But it's a social construct. It is a product of your environment. It is a legacy of your environment. So each time you say this place is not my spec, this is not my spec, I love fair women, I love dark women, I love short women, I love tall women, I love women with, 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 with front and back. That is just a product of your environment. So what that means is that if I grew up among fair people, if I grew up seeing a lot of fair people in my area, I would have been attracted to fair people. <laughs> and even these people who say they cannot do without <laughs> a bright future behind a woman's back, that the woman must have a very bright future behind her back and a very gigantic future ahead of them. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. They are nyash worshippers. <laughs> they want it front and back. It is still a product of environment. Because if they grew up in Japan, <laughs> if they grew up in countries like Japan, where all the women, when you look at them, their front is null and void up initial. <laughs> and when you turn behind to look at them, it is like a bottomless pit. There's nothing to write them about. If they lived here long enough, they would desire Japanese women with no breasts and no nyash. As a matter of fact, they do not even have to be Japanese. If they come to Japan and live in Japan for three months, six months, one year, two years, they would change their minds. Because they have no choice. Their minds will be rewired. That is to tell you that spec, a uh, nyash, all of this in six pack, it's just a matter of environment. If you change environment, your desires will change. <laughs> but there is one thing that can never change. From Singapore to Mpotoyanchang to Benoguri to Kafancha, to Abiyokuta, to Ogurang, to Kekukesan, to Wum. A good person is a good person. Everybody is looking for a good person. Everybody is looking for the right person. And that can never change no matter where you are from generation to generation. Good people are still in high demand. You can never grow, you can never grow out of the desire for something good. So let us put our focus on the, in the right places. Let us put our priorities right. Right person in the wrong body. When you find the right person in the wrong body, renew your mind. When you find the right person in the wrong body, grow up. <laughs> Who are you to be having spec when you have not found the right person? You were supposed to find the right person and then you decide that this is your spec. You just on your own say that you are creating specs. Can you create human beings? So sir, you are saying that even if you meet an ugly person who has a good character, we should go ahead and marry them. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. <laughs> you would have to decide for yourself what is important to you. <laughs> and I'm not even convinced that there's anybody in this life now that is ugly. Have you seen what money can do? Have you, have you checked what money can do lately? No, sir. <laughs> you should check what money can do lately. <laughs> Most of what you call ugly. <laughs> it's just the absence of money. You understand? I'm not saying anything of the sort. I'm not saying marry this or no marry this. I am basically just saying that if you say they are the right person, then there's nothing like wrong body. <laughs> How did they end up being the right person? If, they, if the body was that important to you. That's just what I'm saying. Let us put our priorities right to each their own. Only you know what you want. <laughs> but spec will pass away. A better action. <laughs> right body will pass away. That is there the is question. something that will last forever. That is the good person. Oh. The person inside. So, like I said, to each their own. But wait, is it just me? Or do you also feel like I need to be paid for all the knowledge I ejaculate? So you're on your own? Yeah. You're on your own, sir. Okay. Oh, wow. Ah, this is some accolades. Accolades.